Hey, how we doing guys? Uh, Mitch from The Brew Lab here and today we have some exciting news that we can finally reveal where we're moving to. Um, which is cool, a few people already know, I've kind of let the cat out of the bag a few times because I'm excited. Uh, but before we do that, I'd like to do a little bit of a tour of behind the scenes of where we are. That way when you get to the new shop you'll understand a lot more things and it also makes this video a little bit longer and looks better on YouTube. Cool. Anyway, you all know the dining room. You know, you've all been in here. Well, most of you, if you haven't, probably a bit of a jerk. Um, now, one of the main reasons I want to leave, well, the place is getting knocked down, number one, so we have to leave. Um, secondly, we need more room. Because this is the staff only. I know it's backwards, you're in selfie mode. Um, this is the storeroom that we're currently, currently trying to deal with. It's tiny, that's a fridge that's always full, that's a freezer that's always over full. Um, the amount of times we've had to throw things out because we just don't have room for it, that kind of sucks. Nowhere near enough storage for all the stuff we're trying to keep. Uh, we're actually low on a lot of stock at the moment, hence why there's a couple of empty shelves and I've left it that way on purpose. Move less stuff, because the movie's starting today today um, now apart from oh, the dining room's fine I, I don't actually want more customers in than that you know this will hold up to 33 previous to COVID and one every four dumb stuff whatever COVID um, but yeah I don't actually want more customers than that that's more than enough for me I think that that's a good number we can look after you guys we can have fun with you guys not just treat you like person that's giving us money because there's that this whole business is more than that to me this is my home I spend more time here than I do at home which is not ideal but that's just how it is at the moment now at the moment we've got the two group on the bench because the three group is away getting its perfection touch from Calvin at Espresso um, the three group is getting some major upgrades some major servicing because the previous owner didn't quite look after it the way we look after our machines. Um, this two group is a beast. I love this thing. Uh, it's incredible. I, I'll probably miss it one day if, if it ever leaves my possession. Um, now, when we're moving, we will have the three group back in our possession. That is the plan. So I can't actually open the doors at the other place until I get that three group back pretty much the first piece of the puzzle that we're waiting for before we can actually do the move um, because I'm not opening a cafe that size with a two group not a chance we can't keep up we can hardly keep up here with a two group um, and that place is much bigger much 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 bigger um, the other place has a lot more coffee area and you will see that when we go over there shortly um, yes I'm going to show you in this video where we're going um, as the title's probably going to tell you. So, we are going to have three group. We're going to have two, maybe three, maybe four, possibly even a fifth coffee grinder. Looks douchey as hell, but it actually makes a lot of sense when you're trying to do specialty coffee the way we do it and to the quality that we're trying to achieve. Now, when with the move, it's going to let us do a lot more and do it a lot better. Um, We've got a very tiny, tiny little specialty coffee station here. Nowhere near big enough for what we want. And when it's this close to the espresso machine and to the front takeaway window, like that is not a lot of room, guys. Um, and trying to do it all in there is just way too hard. We can't do it well enough. Um, I, want to do, I want us to be better. So that's another thing. So we're going to have a lot more room for the specialty stuff. I'm actually getting very close to introducing a new staff member who is going to be purely for specialty coffees. He's not making caramel lattes, he's not making decaf long blacks. Purely specialty coffees, pour overs, manual brewing methods. Um, how I drink my coffee most of the time as a manual brew method. Um, so, you know, the storage we've got here is very minimal. That's almost all that we've got for our 
not cow milk. Um, it's not enough because we have to refill that every day. Um, it's killing us. Like, we just can't keep up with that stuff. Um, and because it's so small, things get dirty way too easy. And I, I'm, I'm a neat freak. I'm a clean freak. I want everything to be clean all the time. And we just can't because of the size. So I'm not making excuses. They're literally just reasons. Um, I want to do a lot more of the coffee equipment for you guys. Currently, that's kind of all the storage we've got at the moment available. Well, always available. Um, and I want to have a lot more than that stuff in stock. Like that bad boy. I've got a few of those in this week and that's my last one. It was sold like crazy. So I'll be getting a lot more of that stuff in. Now, one of the major upgrades that we're getting with, with the move is a real kitchen and what I mean by that is this is not a real kitchen it's not now I know the food that comes out of here is very good um, I'm not gonna make any excuses and say that you know we can't do things but Oaken has done very well and previous chefs have done very well to produce some great food out of this little place these are not kitchen items they're not they're little tuck shop items, um, little bench deep fryers. Look, they work and they're great. The bench top fridges and freezers is not enough. Um, so, you know, at the moment, Oaken's doing a very, very good job of producing some incredible food, in my opinion, um, out of somewhere that just shouldn't. It's, it's mind blowing. So he's done really well and Quick shout out to Oaken. Thanks, mate. Killing it. Um, look, this place I'll definitely miss. You know, like that face on the wall is definitely a big part of this cafe. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do something with that. I'm not going to go into it because it'll probably bore you. But, you know, this place has been my home for 16 months now. Um, and, you know, it's it's going to be a big thing a big move it's not going to be easy you know i am a bit nervous i'm not some crazy entrepreneur that can do anything and it's going to work it might not work this move it's a very expensive building we're moving into um you know and i know we've got some really good support our customers you guys unreal you know you, a lot of you are just and our friends rather than customers um i'm still taking your money because that's what i do <laughs> um but you know, it's going to be cool. I've got some really, really cool plans that I'm going to show you a couple of when we get there. Um, but I'm not going to give away everything because I've got some really cool surprises to come. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump on the bike. I'm going to ride over, even though it's only about a two and a half minute walk. Yeah, I timed it because um, I wanted to tell you guys how far away it is. And that's literally two and a half minute walk from this cafe. So, I'm going to get on the bike and you'll see me shortly. And just like that, the magic of the internet does its thing. Now, I am in the new what is to be Brew Lab Cafe in Penrith. Um, Few people might recognize this place. Um, a few people may have been here in the past. It was already a cafe. Um, we are still going to be the Brew Lab Cafe. We are still going to do the same thing that we have been doing. There will be some tweaks, um, some upgrades, because we can now with the real kitchen that I'll show you shortly. Well, it's going to be a real kitchen, okay? No offence to the previous owners, we have some pretty big aspirations that we're going to fill. Um, this place used to be Manic Organic Cafe on High Street. Um, these guys were a organic, clearly, you know, vegan, gluten-free. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not going to pretend I am. Um, you know, I do care about animals and stuff, but I also like eating meat. And I'm allowed to, it's okay. Anyway, let's not get into that. This place is about three times the size of where we are now. Camera doesn't quite do it justice. This dining room's pretty big. You might be even hearing an echo. That's kind of how big it is. 
we have some pretty sick ideas for this little spot here that I'm really excited about. I need to stop focusing on that, to be honest, because it's going to be cool. But these people are cool too, and I want you guys to enjoy this place. Um, what's happening in that corner there is going to be pretty special and pretty unique to the brew lab. Um, you know, there's a couple of menu items that people keep asking about if we're going to be doing here because the previous owners were doing that. Now, there might be some parts in the future. For now, we are literally moving in, bringing the same menus with us. For now, okay? There will be upgrades in the, in the future, but we're not going crazy. We're not jumping in here trying to reinvent the wheel. We know what works, we know what people like, and we're going to keep doing that stuff. Um, if there's anything from the previous menu that you miss, because I know we've changed things recently, let us know because, you know, this is the time now to speak and let us know what you want because we are revamping the entire menu in the near future. That's enough of that. Let me show you around the new Brew Lab Cafe. Um, we've got the dining room, obviously, which I've been blabbing on about. This little guy here is probably going elsewhere because this is where the specialty coffee bar will be so a brew bar we, i'd like to call it um where we're going to do multiple pour overs siphons um we can probably even do some batch brew and just that's where all the cool brew lab stuff's going to happen that you guys are learning about and we can do some cuppings and we can do all the funky stuff in front of you rather than have your back to us and i don't like that stuff so i want to do it with you guys and show you what we do and show you why your coffee tastes a certain way, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna be cool. I plan on this just being the point of sale, this corner, just cause it makes sense and it kind of really can't be used for much more else. Maybe, we'll see. Opera 3 group is coming in here uh, when it comes back. It's getting dumped straight back on the counter to where they had their coffee machine. Um, they were using a 3 group not quite up to the level of coffee machine that we use and we swear by um, so the opera is coming in here um, now this place is a little bit of a mess and please don't take it out on the previous owners these guys literally when covid hit hard they literally closed the doors um, and i know how much that's cost them per year to have an empty shop so look please don't hate on the old on the other guys yes it's a bit of a mess let them let, leave them alone all right um, Cafe is coming with this guy here. If you can tell me what that is in the comments, I'll give you a coffee for free and I'll use that thing on your coffee. Probably just gave it away. The first person that tells me what it is in the comments gets a free coffee with that thing. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got some cool plans for this wall because that is... Not my taste, uh, I don't like it. Anyway, that's gonna be pretty cool if we pull off what I'm trying to do. We got some fridges. We also have, very conveniently, toilets. You don't have to go upstairs anymore, you don't have to borrow the key, you go upstairs to that kind of, um, I don't wanna say that word, but it's kinda of creepy. Um, yeah, anyway, men's, women's, maybe not in that order and a change room down the back with a staff toilet. So, um, much nicer, a little bit more efficient. Oaken can disappear for 30 seconds instead of 30 minutes. Um, this next little room, super weird. Eventually I'd like to get rid of this room, rid of this room, I think I just said, maybe. I don't know what's going on here, but I'd like to get rid of this or maybe modify it a little bit because it's a bit weird and it actually blocks you guys from being able to see the kitchen which i'll show you in a minute relax sit down put your pants back on i don't care i can't see anyways um this is just a weird room i don't get it i don't know why it was put here but whatever um just want to make sure there's nothing on the wall with private stuff nah. no no all good um i'm going to take you into the kitchen now this is going to be changed a lot and like I said, this, this was left in a bit of a mess. Please don't hate. Um, much bigger than what we had before in the other location. It doesn't look much bigger because it's a 
bit of a weird setup at the moment. Like there's a strange random fridge sitting in the corner that is not staying there because fridges don't need a range hood. Anyway, um, please stop asking if we're doing platters. Please, if we do them, you'll know. Okay, please stop asking. Um, kitchen's air conditioned, dining room's air conditioned, barista station air conditioned, everyone's gonna be nice and cool because we're cool. Um, this is one of the burners. We will be using this after we clean this because, yuck. Um, that's temporary. That's going to be twice the size. We're going to have a second dishwasher. We have some random things that I don't know what they are because I'm not chef. Got a lot of storage and pantry-ish stuff, dry foods. Um, very excitingly, we have two very cool rooms down here. Oh, do you like that word? Hang on, wait. I need to turn some lights on. I think I turned lights on, maybe. Maybe I did nothing. Oh, there we go. All right. So when I said we got some pretty cool rooms down here, literally, we have a walk-in pool room. Yeah, yeah. Now that's pretty big. That's that's a lot more than we have at the moment. And we have a room that's even cooler. <laughs> Get it? Even cooler. It's a freezer. Um, so this is slightly smaller, I believe. Maybe it's still a walk-in fridge, walk-in freezer. Awesome. We are going to have so much more food storage room, which I'm very excited about because we need more storage, as I was saying previously. We are out of room, which means we're at the limit of our quality. Um, and I want to be better than we are. No, I'm not saying we're not good. We are, we're very good. We're very clean. We have five-star health and safety. I want to be better. I want the best food that we can possibly do out of this kitchen. I want the best coffee we can possibly do out of this cafe. Um, we have some random storage at the back for probably motorbikes. I don't know. Other things I can buy. Um, look, this place is going to be the new brew lab pending nothing that I'm aware of. Um, I'll be here for a few days doing some stuff and hopefully signage will be done soon because we're not the Manic Organic Cafe, we are the Brew Lab Cafe. And that bad boy on the window. Um, I've got some mad ideas. If you have any ideas, let me know because you guys spend time here as well. Um, you know, I make sure that where we are is fun for us because we spend the majority of our life here. So we always have something on the TV or the music is for us as well as you guys. You know, a lot of you guys are writers, so you're pretty happy when we're watching random bike videos on YouTube because it's cool. Um, that's what we want to watch. If you guys like bikes, you can watch it. If you don't want to watch it, don't. That's cool. Um, but yeah, let us know if you've got any ideas for what you'd like to see here. As crazy as it sounds, honestly, as dumb as it sounds, throw ideas at me because what's happening in that corner is pretty out there. Um, I'm still not sure if I can pull it off to the level that I want, but I reckon it's going to be mad. Um, I've had a couple of weird suggestions from employees that we are not doing because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. You all know who I'm talking about. Um, but yes, this will be the brew lab. Look at all that storage. Oh my God. So much room for activities. Um, also if anyone needs this giant fridge thing, I don't really want it. I don't think we have a need for it. I'm not into selling cakes. Um, I think that's what it's for. Cakes, maybe sandwiches. I don't know. I don't care for that stuff. I'm not going to sell things purely for the sake of making money. I like selling things that make people happy, that I find pleasure in. That sounds weird. Um, and I think we can have a lot of fun here with you guys involved. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I think that's pretty much everything I can show you right now. We are going to have outdoor dining. Um, that's one thing, actually. 
outdoor dining um, on High Street. There's only going to be a couple of tables, but it's a couple more than we have at the moment, which means we are dog friendly, cat friendly if you like cats on leashes, because that's normal. Um, we know the parking thing is going to be different. Parking in Penrith is going to be different. It's as simple as that. Um, yes, we can't do the car, whole car and bike show thing on site. It is what it is. We've had to adapt and change and move on and keep moving forward. And this is the way we're going to do it. Um, the whole car show thing won't exist anywhere in Penrith that I could find. So it doesn't really matter. Um, the building we're in, like I said, it's getting knocked down and they're turning that into a park. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think I've covered all the bases. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, also, if you know anyone that is a gun barista or a gun waitress, even if they work in a cafe, I'll poach them. Tell them I'll pay them more money, even if they lie to me about how much they make. We want the best staff. I don't care. I, I just want the best. Um, I don't want half our staff. I don't want people who don't want to be here. I want people who love the Brew Lab. If you're a customer and you're keen, hit me up because I want the best. And I'll, I'll not to be pig-headed, I'll pay for the best. I don't care. I, I want this place to be unreal and I don't want anyone to be... 80%. I want at least 90% every day. I know everyone has a bad day. That's okay. I have plenty of bad days. I'm tired. So I reckon that's enough rambling. And the next time you guys see this place, I hope it looks different because I've got some plans over the next couple of weeks to turn this into something pretty special. And it will be done in stages. Um, stage one will be very minimal changes because of the time restraints we've got. But it, pretty much as soon as I get that three group machine back and the signs on the front of the shop, this is the brew lab. And if we don't have staff to run the other one as well, this is going to be the only brew lab in Penrith. If I have a second barista, we'll have two brew labs. Um, we still have a couple of months left on the lease over there. Um, and takeaway coffee in that spot's a bit of a, a red hot deal. Um, it works well, it's convenient, everyone likes it over there. You can just pull up and get it. I know, I know you're going to miss that. I'm going to miss it too. I like money. Um, so, that's it. That's us. We're here. High Street, 551 High Street, I think. I hope so. 551 High Street, um, across the road from the ANZ Bank. Um, there's a couple of cafes nearby, um, I'm pretty keen to meet those guys, I like getting along with my neighbours, um, we're all different, we can't make, I personally, out of a three group machine, we can't make every coffee for every person in Penrith, I'm not going to try to, um, what we do is different to the guys next door, or a couple of doors down, and that's cool, um, I've, I want to get along with my neighbours, and hopefully they all feel the same way, because I don't want to make every coffee for every person. Like I said, I can't. So I'm not trying to step on toes. There was already a cafe here and I've actually done the right thing by taking over another cafe, which means one less cafe in Penrith. You're welcome. Um, I'm a bit of a douche. Anyway, that's us. I'm going to leave it there, I think. And yeah, good times ahead. Um, Leave a comment, let me know what you think, like the video, I don't know, do something. Subscribe if you haven't already, because this minute, this, this probably goes for too long, this video. I don't know, I'll ramble a bit when I'm tired, and I am just that. So, we are having a few days off from the cafe, because it's Easter. Uh, and one, maybe two of those days I will spend here between there, blah, 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 fixing some stuff. If you're in the area, send me a message. If I'm at the other cafe, I will make you a coffee. I'm not lying. I will make you a coffee. The machine will be on because I want coffee. So take care, guys. Have a, have a great Easter. Have a gay Easter. Great Easter. And double demerits.
drive safe, take care, all those responsible things. And see you next time, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.